Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. We have been overwhelmed by stories over the past weekend of very unfortunate circumstances happening in this scene. I want to quickly apologize to all of you guys. I am trying my best to keep up with sharing all of these stories with all of you, and thank you for the overwhelming support in doing so. It's just been a very crazy time for the channel, and in doing so, we've had to cover some very unfortunate circumstances. One of the bigger ones being the removal of Fed Meister from offline TV crew this past weekend, following accusations now confirmed by six women coming forward at least with stories against him. Let me preface by saying everything you guys need to know and read through. I will not be touching in full detail on all sides of the story, but I will be giving you guys my thoughts on all of those sides, which will be linked down below, including Fedmeister's response. The most series of, uh, series of which was this past weekend being both Lily as well as Yvonne coming out with accusations towards Fedmeister. Pokimane has now responded, giving her own side of the story, as well as Scara further explaining why Fedmeister was kicked. Everything you guys need to know and read through will be linked down below guys it's just um it's a very unfortunate time out there with uh, everything going on and uh, i just want you guys to know have not really been enjoying seeing this stuff but i think it's a necessity to actually touch on this stuff as well um, so thank you all for the great support. I'm doing my best to keep up with all of these stories. I also do want to preface in the case of Fedmeister, this is not the severity of one case. Like we're seeing towards many Twitch streamers out there with some very, very serious and dark accusations and stories against them. In Fed's case, it is a bit different in my opinion. It's not the severity of one individual case, albeit some are very disturbing stories. This is further escalated though and made more severe by the fact that now six women, of which several of them have multiple stories and instances they've actually been made uncomfortable comfortable by Fed's approach, whether it be lies, manipulation, as Pokey says, pushing false narratives. And when it comes time for the case of especially people like Yvonne and possibly Lily as well, some unwarranted and unwanted advances made by Fed makes this a very, very tough subject to talk about. So I'll show you guys uh, what I looked into most in depth, that being the story of Yvonne, where several cases where Fed Meister had one unwanted advances towards her in her own bed following some drunken nights. And uh, reading further has been pretty tough to see. We've now had other confirmations out there. Scar himself confirming that he actually, uh, they themselves had an intervention or a bit of a, a meeting with Fed Meister involving six other women who also had been made uncomfortable in a variety of ways from his advances or for different reasons as well. He ends up always kind of manipulating the truth to make himself look better in a lot of different ways, in ways that you don't really need to, you know, if your friend group, if you're like friends with someone, like I always trust Fed and whatever he says about anyone, but um, it came back to a situation where um, I found out that he that it wasn't always the truth. Um, we came out with the statement because after we had a three hour intervention with him and seven other girls and six of the girls all came out with stuff against him, uh, he proceeded after that Day to contact the people who weren't there and kind of do exactly what we told him was the problem, which was to tell them uh, only his side of the story uh, and kind of spin it in a way where he ended up being the better person. But it's like, I don't think that's like we just had an intervention about it so it felt kind of weird this also includes pokimane who posted um or at least some clips are now surfacing out there her side of the story again will be linked down below for all of you guys where she talks about the manipulation uh the false pushing of narratives or pushing of false narratives i should say towards her as well she talks about a party where she was excited to see and actually meet and get to know a guy um in her own words fedmeister stuck to that guy like glue she finds out later after that party that fedmeister had told that guy that him and pokimane were together and not to tell anyone. Now again, that individual story in its own case, that can probably be looked over and maybe forgiven. Pokey speaks of several instances of that kind of stuff, that kind of manipulation and lying and behavior happening. And then you partner that with all the other stories. And I'm sure a lot of you will understand why this is very, very seriously um, poor behavior and it should be corrected and learned from. I will play you some Pokemon clips and then we'll also talk about Fedmeister's response where he does himself admit to his wrongdoing. I want to put a huge emphasis on this. The way he shit talked Yvonne and Lily to me and others, particularly I will just recount my experience, is so frustrating knowing what happened between them. The Yvonne incident happened and Fed would start talking to me. I'm so sorry for being emotional. He would talk to me about how 
Yvonne was lazy and not working enough and playing league all the time. And I was concerned. And he would say, oh, she like won't work on OTV stuff with me or brainstorm and blah, blah, blah. And this discussion got to the point of us almost letting Yvonne go from the company because we thought she just like wasn't interested enough in working with us. When in reality, her behavior was entirely because of the incident that happened between them. Toast also sat down with Fed a year ago. At this point, Toast was the only one from OTV who was aware of the incident with Yvonne and Fed. And he warned Fed about the growing concern within our friend group in regards to his behavior around girls. And this was before we all shared our stories. Um, yeah, in regards to his behavior around girls, especially when drinking, and this was before all the recent stuff. It was just like a concern that was starting to build at the time. Fed responded by getting angry at Toast and claimed to not have remembered the incident with Yvonne and he seemed more concerned with who else knew about the incident and about anything else and who had said what about him. Fedmeister then taking to Twitter after all of this saying, I want to start off with this statement by apologizing for my absence the past few days. Earlier this week, some of my friends sat me down and expressed that I had on several occasions made them feel uncomfortable or uneasy. I've made it a point this year to be better, and as I often mention, I'm trying to take more responsibility in my life. I owe it to both my friends and everyone who supports me to own up to my actions, and that starts by listening to those I have hurt. I want to make it clear that my intentions were never to act maliciously or predatorily. I am flawed. I have issues that impede my friendships, issues myself, but I am not a predator and I never wanted this to happen. He then shares their stories, that being both Yvonne and Lily. And then of course we have Scara further speaking on the fact that he did continue potentially um, this manipulative behavior and not learning from his actions. And I'm going to leave it there for all of you guys. Uh, several stories now coming out against Fedmeister. He has responded. He has apologized. Those stories and updates do continue to happen here and there. This is not a severity of one case, but there are several stories from several women um, accusing him of, of course, what he puts into his own words, you know, making them uneasy with his approaches as well. All I can say is I hope he is learning from this. Obviously, this being put out there, he's probably under... A lot of turmoil from everything coming out as well. That's not me making his behavior okay, but hopefully he does learn from this in the future and going forward as well. Uh, I greatly do respect all of those, especially when it comes time for Lily and Yvonne to share their side of the story as to why he has now been removed from offline TV. I'm sure we're not done with this one, guys. There are so many other stories when it comes time for Twitch streamer allegations and accusations. I'm doing my best to cover all of those for all of you guys. What do you think about this? Until next time, though, you guys know what to do. I hope there are some other lighthearted stories out there sometime soon. Drink that water. Drink that coffee. I'll see you guys back here. I was going to say shortly or sometime soon, but I already... I'm going to go now. Okay, bye.